Today, I talk about the completely new generation of Apple TV. Just recently, Apple announced a new Apple TV packed with an amazing remote, Siri, good processing power and a new UI. Should you buy it? Yes. Do you need it? No. Why? Let's find out. Let's begin with the remote. It's been completely redesigned and now features a touchpad as well as a microphone to control the Apple TV with your voice and volume buttons to control the loudness of your TV. The UI of the new Apple TV has been completely redesigned and now features a minimalistic uh, style with a lot of blur and white colors. Apple introduced an absolutely never seen before feature with Siri on the new Apple TV. No, it's been there before. All right. Roku has it, Amazon has it, and lots more, so it's not too innovative, but it still works very flawlessly. You hold a button on the remote that looks like a microphone and just simply speak into it. You can say things like, what's the weather like today, show me movies from the 90s, or Musik spielen. There are a lot of new streaming services like Netflix, Vimeo, YouTube, and you can even watch live TV, at least in Germany. There are also several games available on the App Store that are now playable because of the new processing power and the new Apple TV remote uh, with a sensor to like steer the car or something. It comes in two versions, one with 32 gigabytes and one with 64 gigabytes. Which one should you get? Pretty easy if you play a lot of games uh, and need to download several save games uh, different add-ons and stuff, you should get the 64 gigabyte version. If you only use streaming services like Netflix, Vimeo, YouTube, you should get the 32 gigabyte version. You will be pretty fine with it uh, because you won't really download anything onto your Apple TV, only the apps themselves. Should you get it? Well, it depends. If you have a lot of Apple devices uh, and you want to use screen mirroring with AirPlay, you should get it. But if you have a lot of Android devices and Windows PCs, uh, it doesn't really make sense. There's Chromecast, there's Amazon Fire TV, and they can be had for a lot less. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like, leave a comment on what you think about this video. Subscribe to my channel to stay updated with the newest videos. And yeah, we'll see us in my next video. Stay tuned.